well, I can imagine proceeding with fetal testing by just some little company going off and doing it, but I don't think that's the right answer. So if the question is, when would I be comfortable with field testing? The answer is only with some sort of sort of at least local governance and legitimacy. So something that's public, that's transparent, that has some oversight, uh, and something I don't. I'm not personally don't think we need to wait for some overarching complete global governance system because that basically will be waiting forever. But I think waiting for s some internationalization is really crucial. First of all, who decides? Who makes a decision? How do we avoid having that decision made purely by people who happen to have power or self-interest? I think a second question that's maybe even harder is what's it for? So the standard idea is that this technology is for reducing the risks of climate change driven by CO2 emissions. And even in that context, there are obviously these problematic questions like it'll encourage people not to cut emissions. But there are larger questions. Once you invent tools for manipulating the whole planet's climate, it's very hard to tell how those tools will be used. And they might be used in the best circumstance to reduce the risks from CO2 in the air in a way that helps manage the overall climate problem in a way that are to the benefit of people in nature. That's the best outcome. But it's also possible that once you have these tools, people will just go wholesale into the business of trying to manipulate the planet to produce the best short-term outcome, and there are really horrific outcomes there. Things are moving very quickly right now on solar radiation management. There are all sorts of global governance initiatives being set up and meetings happening and testimony in Congress and what have you. And so I certainly think we need to have more. We need to find ways to broaden the dialogue. We need to have ways to have the dialogue be more inclusive to, say, people in the poor world. But actually, uh, I'm not sure I want anything done immediately. I think we almost need to slow down. At this point, after this topic being essentially a taboo, where the scientific community knew it was possible but didn't talk about it for decades, now the, the thing is exploding with people talking about it very quickly. And this is a, a topic about which I think ambivalence is mandatory. It's very easy for people to leap to extreme views on one side or the other. And my view is that that going a little s more slowly in the way that people begin to debate this, it's probably a vain hope, but I think that that is more likely to produce a kind of sensible outcome where different parties get to really figure out what they think and figure out how they want to play in the negotiations.